sun shone down on the final day of testing at the Spanish circuit of Jerez, where the Modal FIM Superbike World Championship riders were able to continue their final arrangements ahead of the 2019 season opener that will be held in less than a month in Australia. With the temperature being warmer than yesterday day two around Circuito de Jerez on Hel Nieto saw many riders improving their paces and the top 10 riders of day closing in less than a second at the front. Facing some stiff competition from the Yamaha and Ducati rivals, reigning world champion Jonathan Ray, Kawasaki Racing Team World SPK, took to the track early this morning working on the small 2019 updates for his ZX10RR. The four-time world champion didn't lose any time and, in the end, he was able to return at the top of the timesheets thanks to a fastest lap time in 1.39.160, just a few seconds ahead of the Pata Yamaha World's BK rider Alex Lowe's. Stunning with his consistency and overall pace during both the two days, the Yamaha rider closed second in 1.39.372 and he continued to make progress with his machine as he completed 102 laps around the Andalusian racetrack today. Working on improving the acceleration of his bike and testing new parts for the YZEFR1 machine, his teammate Michael van der Mark closed in seventh position with a fastest lap time of 1.40.145. Focusing on getting more comfortable on his new bike, Leon Haslam, Kawasaki Racing Team World SPK, had a positive two-day test, as he closed also just 0.342s off his teammate in third position. The British rider was able to be fast on both days, building on his confidence with the ZX10RR. Making an important step forward, Alvaro Bautista, Aruba.it Racing, Ducati, brought his Ducati Panigal V4R in fourth position, closing 0.460s off raised lap time. The Spaniard had a busy day gathering as much information as possible to work on, and design the best base setup for their all-new Ducati machine. On the other side of the garage, Chaz Davies sat out on the opening hours of the day and took to the track later in the afternoon putting in only a few laps, closing the day in 10th. As he was feeling some pain in his back after the crash he had yesterday, Davies decided to take it easy as he aims to be back at his full strength for the next pre-season test that will be held at the end of this week in Portimao. Both independent team riders Michael Rinaldi, Barney Racing Team, and Eugene Laverty, Team Go 11, who finished respectively 9th and 12th, worked alongside their new teams producing valuable feedbacks that will be used also by the factory team to improve their Ducati Beast. Top Rack Raz Godlialu, Kawasaki Puschetti Racing, continued to impress, stunning with his performance along the two days. The Turkish rider finished in 5th position, with a fastest lap time in 1.39.942. Continuing to work with a new team structure GRT Yamaha World's BK rider Marco Melandri had a busy day as he put in a total of 87 laps on board his Yamaha finishing 8th overall, while his teammate Sandro Cortez had his progression slowed down by a small crash he suffered early in the morning. The German walked away from the accident on his feet but had to wait for his bike to be recovered and repaired before returning to the track in the afternoon and setting the sixth fastest time. Towards the end of the day, the BWM Moto Rod World's BK riders Tom Sykes and Marcus Rieterberger had their transponders finally recording a few of their lap times. Happy with the progress is made over the two-day, they closed respectively in 14th and 15th position. Among the world's SP riders Federico Caracasillo, Bart Eleven Bros. World's SP team continued to lead the way also on day two with Frenchman Lucas Mejias, Kawasaki Puschetti Racing, closing second just 0.222s behind him. Making her debut in the class, Maria Herrera was also out testing aboard the Yamaha YZFR6 of MS Racing. The Spaniard focused on getting acquainted with the new bike and finished her second day of testing with a fastest lap time in 1.46.957.
Whilst the Hareff test may have finished some of the world's BK and world's SP riders who attended the two days will now head down to Portugal for the final pre-season test on European soil from 27th to 28th of January at Autodromo Internacional do Algarve, Puerto before the first round of the 2019 FIM Superbike World Championship season in Australia. Press here to download the complete results. Hareth Day 2 Unofficial Times, Jonathan Ray, Kawasaki Racing Team World Speak A, 139.160 Alex Lowe's, Pata Yamaha Official World Speak A Team, 139.3720.212 Leon Haslam, Kawasaki Racing Team World Speak A, 139.5020.348 Alvaro Bautista, Aruba.it Racing, Ducati, 139.6200.460 Toprak Raz Godly Alu, Turkish Pushetti Racing, 139.9420.782 Sandro Cortes, GRT Yamaha Team, 140.0750.915 Michael Vandermark, Pata Yamaha Official Worlds BK Team, 140.1450.985 Marco Melandri, GRT Yamaha Team, 140.469 1.309 Michael Ruben Rinaldi, Barney Racing Team, 140.4691.380 Chaz Davies, Aruba.it Racing, Ducati, 140.6211.461 Leandro Mercado, Orelac Racing Bird Natura, 140.7941.634 Eugene Laverty, Team Go 11, 140.8791.719 Jordi Torres, Team Petercini Racing, 141.0661.906 Tom Sykes BMW Moto Rod World Speak A Team 141.2062.046 Marcus Rieterberger BMW Moto Rod World Speak A Team 141.2312.071 Alessandra Del Bianco Althea Mie Racing Team 142.3533.192 Enjoy all reactions, highlights and interviews from Hareth Test all with the World Speak A Video Pass.